called this chess. I'm trying to read here the history of chess and the bottom line is that apparently it's kind of old. Now, this is not a video about chess, but I wanted to bring it up because for a long time, chess was a high bar for artificial intelligence. By the mid 1980s, computer chess programs began challenging and occasionally beating grandmasters. It remained unclear whether they could ever defeat the world's best. Remember IBM's Deep Blue being the world champion Gary Kasparov? That was in 1997, 12 years after the development of Deep Blue started. And our fascination with chess did not end there. Fast forward 20 years and in 2017, DeepMind released Alpha Zero. But this time, the system could play chess, go, and shaggy at a superhuman level. Huge accomplishment, still is five years later, but we just blew past that. The story that I want to tell you is not about chess, not about go, this is much bigger. This is about artificial intelligence mastering the impossible. This is Stratego, not a place not a time, but a battle of wit and skill and strategy. That was just the beginning of a 1983 commercial about Stratego. Now, my wife was this close to buying the game for my son, but at the end, we decided not to do it. But it doesn't matter, here is how it works. Stratego is a two player board game where you have 40 pieces that move around and the goal is to capture your opponent's flag. Now two specific characteristics made Stratego way more challenging for artificial intelligence than either chess or go. The first thing we need to consider is the complexity of the game, the number of valid states of each one of these games. Now chess is very complex. It has 10 to the power of 123 possible valid states. To put this in context, we estimate there are 10 to the power of 22 grains of sand on Earth and 10 to the power of 25 drops of water in the ocean. That's nothing compared to this number here. The sheer amount of possible states in chess is one of the reasons it took so long for AI to master it. Go, however, is in a totally different planet. 10 to the power of 360 possible states. Much, much harder than chess. Beating a professional player at Go is a long-standing grand challenge of AI research. Okay, we solved chess, we solved Go, it's time for a new challenge. So how about Stratego? Well, 10 to the power of 535 possible states. That's a number beyond anything we could ever imagine. In comparison, chess and Go are both nothing. Now, this is just one of the reasons that makes Stratego more challenging. There is something else. A Stratego is an imperfect information game. The key thing to understand about why imperfect information makes things difficult mm -hmm. is that you have to worry not just about which actions to play, but the probability that you're going to play those actions. In a perfect information game like chess or go, you see everything that's happening during the game. There is nothing hidden from you. You can see every piece, every play, everything. We designed Alpha Zero to master perfect information games, but Alpha Zero doesn't work with games where players don't have the full picture. And when you think about the real world, we usually have to make decisions with partial information. If we want to get closer to artificial intelligence that can help solve the problems we face every day, we need to go beyond Alpha Zero. Think about poker, for example. You don't see your opponent's cards. They are completely hidden from you. Like Noah mentioned in his conversation with Lex Freeman, there is an additional layer in imperfect information game. It's not only about the actions you take, but the success probability of those actions. Alpha Zero did not solve this. In fact, imperfect information games have been tough for artificial intelligence to crack until now. A few days ago on December 1st, DeepMind published a new paper in Science talking about their new AI agent. Deep Nash. Here is their blog post, not the paper, you can read that one later if you want. Stratego, the classic board game that's more complex than chess and go and craftier than poker, 
has now been mastered. If I start talking about every cool thing about Deep Nash, we will be here the whole day. So let me focus on a couple of details, starting with the most important idea. Deep Nash's goal is to learn a Nash equilibrium policy. I should probably make a separate video about Nash equilibrium, but this is what you need to know. In a two-player zero-sum game like chess, go, poker, or stratego, a Nash equilibrium guarantees that Deep Nash will do very well well, even when playing against the best opponents. Now, Stratego is hard. Remember, some of the information is hidden, so Deep Nash aims to find that Nash equilibrium. Not perfect, but still good enough to win more than 97% of games against the best Stratego bots out there, and 84% against top expert human players. Now, speaking about hidden information, bluffing is a big part of Stratego. Sometimes you want to deceive the other player, maybe lure them into a trap, make them think you're stronger than you really are. It's part of the game. But deceiving your opponent is a mental state that we have. We shouldn't expect it from an artificial intelligence system, right? Well, I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. Deep Nash bluffs. If you go and check the paper, you will find links to a bunch of sample games where Deep Nash clearly deceives their opponents to take advantage of them. It's incredible. Not only that, but Deep Nash can make non-trivial trade-offs where it shows how much it values information. And that's something unexpected. Finally, there is something I find fascinating. Deep Nash learns Stratego from scratch. Have you ever wondered what the meaning of the word zero in Alpha Zero is? Alpha Go Zero doesn't use any human data whatsoever. Instead, what it has to do is learn for itself, completely from self-play. Zero means no human knowledge in the loop. Deep Nash works the same way. It learns exclusively from playing itself. And this is such a beautiful and powerful idea. So it starts off extremely naive. It starts off with completely random play. And yet at every step of the learning process, it has an opponent that's exactly calibrated to its current level of performance. So Deep Nash is not about collecting more human data or having better data. Deep Nash is not about data at all. If you think about it, this is great. Deep Nash is not biased by the way we play the game. It's not trying to copy us. Instead, it builds its own strategies, its own playing style. And we can use that. We can find different tactics and unconventional ways to play just by looking at Deep Nash. And that is a big part of the value of these systems. We can learn a ton from them. And by the way, Stratego is just a game, but the ultimate goal here is to apply these algorithms to real life situations. Traffic modeling, smart grid, auction design. There are many problems with similar characteristics. That's why Deep Nash is so important. All of a sudden, we have a chance against large scale, imperfect information problems with a huge state space. Things that were impossible before are now this close. If you like this type of content, subscribe. <laughs> awesome! That was great. Thanks.